Oh, well. <laughs> so you know how you have to like stand up and kind of just show the look before the video? Cause you know your look is popping right now. That's what I had to do. <laughs> Welcome back to my beauty space. If you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Natasha. And of course, in today's video, I did want to bring you guys a hair tutorial. I've really been loving doing my hair in this like beachy style waves. I don't know how to describe it, but I think it looks really nice. I do add clip-in extensions and that helps give me more volume, more length, as well as just making my hair look a lot fuller. Now, one thing about clip-in extensions, especially when you have such a large leave out of hair, make sure your clip-in extensions look exactly like your hair. Do not ever buy clip-ins that are silky or not coarse. If your hair is coarse, buy coarse clip-in extensions. If your hair is silky, buy clip-ins that are are silky you never want to look like your hair does not match especially when you're wearing clip in extensions because you can definitely tell the difference I do love wearing wigs but sometimes you have to buy expensive wigs to get that beautiful look in the front of your hair like the front situation you don't want your hair to look fake you also don't want the lace to lift and I just like wearing my natural hair in front so I do love wigs but also too clip in extensions are my favorite let me also mention that I do have a clip-in extension video. I will link that down below where I talk about clip-in extensions, how I make them from start to finish. Make sure you check out that video. If you guys wanna see how I achieved this beachy wave, ready for springtime look, please keep watching. Let me tell you guys a weird, fun fact about me. So back in the day, I used to be really weird about my hair moving. My hair had to stay in place at all times. Like I would spray so much hairspray in my hair so it didn't just, like I wouldn't even like move my neck. I would have like a stiff neck every time I would do my hair. Like if you called my name, I'd be like, yes. What'd you say? I just did not want my hair to get out of place. So I used a bunch of hairspray, a bunch of gel, and as I got older, I'm like, I love my hair, like being able to just flip my hair and my hair move in the wind. I don't know what happened. I'm pretty sure my friends can vouch for that of me just loving stiff hair. And you guys know how I feel about my clip-in extensions. So I do have some clip-in extensions in front of me right now that I will be using. Now they are kind of curled. I didn't spray any dry shampoo on them. So right now I do have my Glee Made. This is my satin bonnet on. And then under that I do try to make sure that my hair is completely covered, especially at night. So this is what my hair is looking like right now. So I'm just gonna take my brush and run the brush through my hair. I've been wearing my hair in a low ponytail lately, just low maintenance. Before I start my hair, I do take my olive oil. This is the oil moisturizing lotion. Here goes the product. And I rub this on the ends of my hair. This is gonna stop the ends of my hair from damage. The second product I'm gonna grab is the Cream of Nature. This is the Argan Oil Sheen that I spray all over my hair. This stuff smells so good. I'm gonna take my argan oil. This is the Styling Mousse. This is what it looks like. I love Cream of Nature products. Leave a comment down below if you grew up with Cream of Nature in your household. And I just take this foam, rub it into my hands, and apply this to my ends. This is gonna help your curls last a little bit longer. My necklace literally just fell off. <laughs> I'm gonna grab one section of my hair. Now this is my hair, not the clip-ins yet. And I'm gonna curl backwards. I'm not gonna let my hair sit on the wand for too long because I don't want my curls to be super tight. And then unravel the hair. 
And this is the curl that I get. Going to the middle section of my head, grabbing my wand, wrapping the hair around, and ravel the hair. Like I said, not too long. And then the last section that I have in the back. And I'm still pulling the hair back. And then I'm gonna set this clip in in my hair. And this does have four clips on it. So this is just the first set of clip ends. And I'll turn around so you guys can see what it looks like. This is synthetic hair, so that is why I allow the wand to stay a little bit longer. And I know how to curl this hair. Sometimes with synthetic hair, it could be very hard to curl. It like burns the hair. For some reason, this hair does not burn, which is super crazy. And I do have my wand on like the highest setting. And I kind of just mix my hair into the clip ends. Grabbing some more of my hair. That piece wants to lay down, so we'll just, we'll let it live. I'm going to bring the curling wand back. And sometimes I mix curling iron. Sometimes I'll use like my regular curling iron to curl my hair and then use the wand for the more beachy waves. I guess we'll see kind of what happens. So this clip-in only has three clips. So one, two, three. There are, let's see, how many wefts do I have sewed on? Three wefts of hair sewed on. So what I'm about to do is I'm gonna place this in my head. Now I am gonna take some foam. I'm gonna put this kind of on my desk. This hair kind of feels a little dry. And now I'm gonna curl the hair back. And the hair kind of just wraps around the wand because this is the way I've been curling it for a while. And like I said, I haven't put any dry shampoo on these, so they kind of already have how they're gonna curl. Are you guys ready for spring? and summer i am i think that's why i have my makeup this way i'm so ready for spring what do you guys like most about spring i love the makeup because it's not too hot outside so you could still do like a full face of makeup and not look cakey that's what i love about spring now when summer comes you got to tone down like your whole makeup regimen kind of changes because for one you don't want your makeup sliding off your face midday because it's too hot outside no 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 i don't want that to happen so for me spring i just love the colorful looks like neon has been in for a while now and i haven't really jumped on the bandwagon yet but i might have to i don't have anything neon and i think i want to try some neon greens neon pinks Right now I'm about to switch up my curling iron because I don't have patience for the curling wand sometimes. So I'm just using my Revlon curling iron and I can kind of make the same curl if I don't go all the way to my ends. So my ends are kind of like sticking out of the curling iron right now. I get really like annoyed when it takes me too long to curl my hair because I'm like, I'm not trying to have it perfect. So I'm just taking the crawling wand and I'm going backwards. So I'm just twisting the hair back. This is where I'm really gonna start like showing you guys what I do, especially in the front. And unravel the hair the same way you twisted it. And sometimes what I do, just so I don't have too many flyaways in the front, I grab my Eco Style Gel. This stuff is so bomb. It does not flake my hair up at all. So I kind of just lay that hair down. And then I'm going to grab another piece of hair, 
comb it out with my brush or my comb. Here goes my curling wand. So I hold the curling wand behind the hair and I literally turn the curling iron as I'm raveling my hair so it gets kind of a little bit closer to my scalp. These curls I try to hold a little bit longer because I do want these to be tight only because my hair has a hard time holding a curl. The lower portion of my hair, that hair is pretty short, so I try not to curl too much so I don't lose the length. And then you unravel the hair, and you can turn the curling iron as well. Booyah, look at that. Let's do another one. Comb your hair out with your brush. Grab your curling iron, set it behind your hair and just wrap the hair around. Unravel it. Such a beautiful curl. So let me just part another section of my hair. I never do a middle part when I do beachy waves. I don't know why, but I just never do. Bringing the hair back, but do you see how I roll the curling wand? as well so it's going closer to my scalp and remember wigs are always an option like you don't have to do clip-ins and if i have any flyaways i grab some of my gel and just twist it with the hair and those flyaways are gone once again grabbing another section set the wand back roll the wand as you roll the hair Now I'll turn around for you guys. Well, let me let me see what I'm doing first. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna place the wand back. It's gonna get a little tricky when I start with the front, so I'm gonna do that now. So I'm parting my hair kind of with a side part. I get a lot of questions when I wear my hair like this, and I really need to dye my hair. Like, look at this, what color is my hair? I'm just gonna part it with the comb, or you can use your hand. I am gonna grab a little bit of foam, and I'm gonna bring this hair forward. So I set the wand in front of the hair. This kind of gives it more of a dramatic look. Now the hair is gonna start going different ways. So front and back, front and back. That's what the curl looks like, so pretty. Now this hair, I'm gonna go, the wand's gonna be behind the hair. So before the hair was, or the wand was in front of the hair, this time the hair, the wand is behind the hair. Gosh, I had a hard time describing that. And yes, I will tell you now, my arms do get tired. <laughs> Look at that curl. Okay, we're getting closer to the front of my hair. Grab my curling wand. Kind of just lay it on the hair and the hair is gonna go back, of course. Now, I try not to touch these curls too much only because, like I said, my hair has a hard time holding a curl. I'm grabbing some of my gel because I, I have a ton of flyaways here at this point. I don't want to put too much because my hair will decide to go curly. Like it'll curl right up on me. So I'm going to grab my curling iron and I'm going to run the curling iron through my hair. And now I'm going to take my curling wand and we're going to bring the hair back. Do you see how all those flyaways literally just popped up? Yeah, they don't want to be curled. So while I have the hair kind of tight, I kind of just grab my gel to try to lay them down. But usually I have to curl this part of my hair like 50 gajillion times, no joke. And I have this wand pretty tight on my head right now. <laughs> oh, we gonna get this curl. Let's move on to my right side. And I'm gonna grab just a little bit of mousse. I'm just going to brush through the hair. 
And I am gonna use my curling iron for this right now. I'm just gonna grab another piece of hair. Take my curling iron. I do go to the root of my hair to kind of like smooth out the hair so I don't have like too many flyaways, too many frizzies. And just let the hair go. So I have kind of like a spiral curl. And then once I get to the top, I'm gonna take my curling wand and bring the hair forward. I think the front of the hair is probably like the most important. I don't really care about the back and how it looks. I mean, it needs to be curled, like don't get me wrong. <laughs> but before I start curling the front of my hair, I'm gonna take my Eco Style Gel once again. I'm kinda gonna smooth down some baby hairs or any flyaways that wanna join the party. Look how smooth this gel just lays down my hair. So starting with the front of my hair, and you have to be careful because you do have gel there. I am gonna take a smaller piece of hair, grab my curling wand, and look how I hold my curling wand behind the hair. Now I'm gonna wrap the hair around the wand. And this is all I did for the hairstyle where I had that beautiful green and yellow makeup look. And look at that curl. And if you want to smooth down the hair, but I was watching um, like old, like super old seasons of America's Next Top Model because of course we were all obsessed with that show when it first came out and I'm pretty sure a lot of us wanted to be on the show. Oh my goodness, I was watching something online where they were showing like the makeovers, like telling the girls to like cut their hair, it's gonna take them to another level of modeling. And honestly, I mean I love my hair and I don't mind, no let me not say that. I would mind the way that they did cut my hair or like the style that they were trying to achieve because I know my face better than you. <laughs> and I get sometimes, sorry, I had to move on to my curling iron, my bad. I do get sometimes you can't see a look like somebody else can see the look on you. But some of those looks that they were doing to those girls were jacked. Uh, and then they were talking crap like right in front of them and I'm like, I don't remember these episodes being this dramatic But maybe they were and so I was watching it. I'm like you guys know that haircut was not it was like they were taking girls that had like super long hair and cutting their hair to like One length and I'm like you have to understand for somebody to have super long hair and then now their hair is super duper short I didn't realize how many of those girls were wearing like satin scarves on their head like their whole season because they never wanted to show their hair. I'm a visual person and I'm not, I'm gonna be realistic with you. And sometimes people would like, back in the day when I used to do hair all the time, people would bring me like magazine cutouts and I would be like, okay, just because this hairstyle looked good on this person doesn't mean it's gonna look good on you. Our facial structures are totally different. And so I would try to give them what they wanted like along the lines of how the magazine looked, but just jazzed it up with like their style. So honestly, like watching that video, I was like, wow, this is really dramatic. But also too, I would have a panic attack. Cause I can tell you now, Tyra would be like, you have to cut your hair. I'm like, peace. This is a once in a lifetime chance, peace. I'm grabbing my oil sheen. So let me spray that on my hair really quick. And I'm gonna turn around and kind of just play with the hair. And also too, I have to make sure that my clips are covered because there's a clip right here. Now once you have your hair in the style that you want, this is when I take my Garnier. This is the Sleek and Shine Hairspray. And this is the completed look.
You guys already know, I wanna thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my videos. I definitely appreciate the support. Until my next video, I miss you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.